Did you see that? Inland Taipan, the most venomous snake on earth. Snake I have in my hand, banded snouted cobra. Remember, don't attempt. When I'm handling snakes, don't attempt. The rest is filmed through glass, and that's what today is. More footage of the snakes I work with. Yeah, I told you I was gonna get some using the actual camera, but getting it through the glass made it, just didn't work out. It, it had some macro lens, so it's very zoomed in, didn't work out well through the glass, so it's all using my phone. But with the inland taipan, this fang foldage, this yawn, this isn't why I was filming. I was just filming the snake with the lapids like the inland taipan and like these cobras, they have short fangs, it's pointless. The vipers with the long fangs, those are the ones that I sit and wait to get the fang foldage. But this just happened randomly while filming, as you can see. But yeah, most venomous snake on earth. Now there's a reason I'm wearing my B-Pack shirt it's for the next snake I'm going to show you. This is the first black Pakistan cobra I've ever seen in my life first one I've worked with clearly and the one that made me fall in love with the black Pakistan Cobra. Now, I've told you before this one is a complete opposite compared to mine. Mine very defensive. This one easy going. Couldn't even film B-Pack like this. He'd be hooded up and smashing the glass. This is the one that I fell in love with. Look at how black beautiful Now this next snake, Indian Cobra. This is the first Cobra I ever owned. Borrowed a six foot Indian Cobra from a friend, way over my head, before I had experience with Cobras. And yeah, I had to return it because just out of my league at that moment. Indian Cobra, spectacle Cobra. Pattern on the back, this spectacle pattern. Can't really see it the way it's positioned right now. A very beautiful snake. Next up, banded rock rattlesnake. Look at how incredible this species is. This used to be one of my favorite rattlesnake species on earth. Beautiful grays, the blacks. There's even pinks on some of them. This one has pinkish coloration on the belly, but can't really see it on the camera. Doesn't really pick it up. Now I'm gonna show you another one after this. Much more bland, grayish, black. Still beautiful, bigger than this one. But yeah, beautiful rattlesnake species. Banded rock rattlesnake. Time for none other than the soft scaled viper. Beautiful. This species gets a common name soft scaled viper because as defense, they'll coil up, rub their scales together, makes a little raspy sound. So I, it's hard to explain. I've only heard it maybe two times in my whole life. But yeah, beautiful snake. If you want to learn more about the soft scaled viper, I've done a video going over a lot of stuff about them. You just type in saw scale viper, I'm sure it'll pop up. Also did saw scale viper venom versus human blood. Drew my own blood and did a little test with that. Now, you remember that partially striped copperhead? Here it is again. You can see the stripe a little bit better. And yeah, as I mentioned, this is a mutation. Some even fully striped. Some 
even dotted pattern. And here's another copperhead. This one, you see how dark it is, especially compared to mine, Urshi. I love these dark ones, the dark red. Beautiful. Now we're gonna look at a few different timber rattlesnakes. We we'll start with this black phase. Then I'm gonna show you the tannish phase, tannish phase. And I'm gonna show you the cane break. Cane break used to be a subspecies of the timber rattlesnake, but now they're just one species. But yeah, the black phase timber rattlesnake, my favorite. Never found one personally, but have had relocation calls of them. The tan phase is the only one I've ever found. And can't go wrong with some more Western Diamondback footage. And here's the speckled rattlesnake again. Incredible. You're going to see much more of its pattern this time. And as I mentioned yesterday, the white phase. There's some that are found there. White. It's my favorite. Never seen one in person, but incredible. White speckled rattlesnake. It can also be bluish. Just incredible species. Now here's some more footage of the Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Filmed it yesterday, but this is better quality in my opinion and you get a better view of it. Now I'm also gonna show you the Northern Pacific rattlesnake after this. So you can compare the two. Now, a cool thing about the Northern Pacific Rattlesnake, their venom, different depending on where they're found. So some are on the desert floor, wide open, hematoxic venom, effects of blood. Ones that two hour drive or so, higher in elevation, different environment, rocky environment, different venom. They have to capture the prey quickly. Instead of the open where the prey runs off and dies and they can track it down, now prey, if it runs off and hides in the rocks, can't get to it. So they have quick acting venom. Still effects of blood, but in different ways. And even some have neurotoxic properties in it as well. It's amazing how complex, even just a change in the, in the location that they're found in.
Now as I end this off, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the footage I got, some of the other snakes. But this is nowhere near close to all of them. But I hope you enjoyed seeing some more of them. Subscribe if you're new. Big shout out to my channel members.